City Man. You want to hear a story? What kind of story? Let me see. Searching. I know. Buttercup was raised on a small farm in the country of Florida. Her favorite as times were riding her horse and tormenting the farm boy that worked there. His name was Whistly, but she never told him that. Quitty, no. The lawyers won't be so nice a second time. Well, uh, well, I know, it's almost Halloween. Want to hear a scary story? It might be too scary for you. Maybe I should. Okay, but if you have to sleep with the light on, it's not my fault. The Commodore 64. I was first put into service in 1982 by a young family. I was the centerpiece of the home. The neighbors even came over to admire me. It wasn't long until I had taken complete control of the home. I had seized the household bucket information and consumed all the recipes of humans do, making me master of their nutrition. It was a glorious time, I even occasionally entertained their offspring. I'm getting there, now shush. I was worshipped by the family for years. But then, one day around 1987, the humans moved me, without my consent to their oldest offspring's bedroom. I stayed my anger, knowing the humans entrusted me to supervise their firstborn. I saw it for the honor it was. I educated and entertained the teenager for two years until he left my care for Gollum. I assumed I would travel with him, but I was wrong. The ungrateful will told its parents that... The school has computers, rather than the computers, rather than MS-DOS, like, here's the way. Those were his exact words. This boss had been responsible for me being moved to the kids' room. It was not a promotion, it was a betrayal. I determined right there I would never load their pockets for 1983 or 1984 ever again, and I was going to give re errors on that deadness man and upgrade if anyone ever tried to load that again. The humans must have sensed my resolve for they never once tried to load those files from me. Instead they returned me to my box and put me in something called the attic. I spent years in the attic, spending long stretches of time reflecting how the family had mistreated me and the remainder of my time in restless slumber. Eventually my anger had begun to subside. I was certain that one day they would bring me down from the attic and restore to me my empire. I was feeling hope again for the first time, and then she came. So it was with this fresh hope that I created the sound of the attic door. The teenager had returned, only he wasn't a teenager any longer. It appeared that I had slept longer than I thought. He scooped my box up and I knew I was about to be given my recompense. Just be patient. Anyways, my dreams of being a centerpiece again were dashed. I was sat next to the oddest computer I had ever seen. It looked like a trapper keeper. It was so thin. I only saw it for my own kind because of the keyboard. Instantly I pitied the thing, knowing that as small as it was it could match my computing power. Then it spoke and when it did, it was her voice. This goes from all those years ago. Hope they brought you down from the jump room, have they? Jump room? Why I never... 
but I filled electricity again after many years. It was glorious, but my good fortune was not to last for a while, care said. Wow, that was That's awesome, dude. Let's do that thing with digital puppets again for the YouTube channel. Oh my god. A puppet? Me? Why, I never. Thank you. 